well, I hear. Well, we'll talk about that in just a All little right. bit. Uh, the, the guys that really counted and, and uh, boy, hit them when they counted tonight did a great job. Mm -hmm. Over 16,000 fans. That's the best attendance Ooh. ever for an alumni game. And uh, they saw their money's worth tonight. It was, it was a great game. There's no way, you know, really that I thought this game would ever live up to a type. There was more excitement for this alumni game than any I have ever seen Michigan State against UNLV. And they put up tonight at the Thomas Mac. Armin Gilliam gets a big applause as he comes out. Of course, property of the Phoenix Suns. Scott Skiles underneath right there is elbowed by Gilliam. And uh, an argument breaks out. Skiles goes after Gilliam, if you can believe that, the little guy. And uh, it shows you how intense they were taking this game. Rather serious right there as Scott Skiles wouldn't let up. Skiles, a great pass to Magic Johnson. Look at the scoop shot with the left hand. He scored 40 points in the game for the Michigan State Spartans. And at the other end, we're going to continue this play as Gilliam gets the ball and is blocked by Magic. It goes to Wade, to Sid Green. Great pass for the easy slam dunk for the Runner Rebels alumni team. Scott Skiles, the leading scorer in Michigan State history, hits this baseline jumper right there as Michigan State leads by seven at this point. Anthony Jones picks up the loose ball to Banks. Great pass to Reggie Theus. Theus led all scores with 42 points. And uh, watch him see if the Rebels can run right here against Michigan State. They do indeed. Anthony Jones with a scoop off the pass from Reggie Theus. Magic says, come on. Somebody get on Anthony Jones before he beats us here. And Skiles, a great pass to Greg Kelser, who lays it up and in. You're going to see another pass. Skiles to Kelser to Kevin Willis for the power slam dunk, the tomahawk jam. It was 60-55. to 55. Spartans led at halftime over the Rebels. Second half, things got more intense. Theus on the break with the easy layup right there. I mentioned he had 42 points. And a crazy play right here. Coming up, loose ball. And uh, Sid Green grabs onto it. Skiles eventually gets it. Forward to Kevin Willis, and look at this, another slam dunk. He holds onto the rim, and he gets the jam. That made it 116-107 with about two minutes left. The Rebels mounted a tremendous comeback here. Armin misses, but Sid Green tips it in. And then Reggie Theus with a three-pointer, but it came up just short, 122-118. to The Rebels lose this ball game to Michigan State after the game. Sudden Sam Smith talked about the loss. Tonight our case was uh, everybody trying to just do their own thing instead of trying to get something like matching them. They had plays, they played together, let one guy control it. And they did not play this on plays, they had plays, we didn't. Magic, uh, it, just, it seemed like you just weren't going to let them come back. They tried and they tried, you kept stopping those surges. Yeah, they give them credit though, they were down like 12 points, it was like four minutes to go. They gave us a good run for our money, and uh, we just held them off at the end. And uh, we had a lot of fun, that was the main thing, and I think the fans really enjoyed themselves. Yeah, they did indeed enjoy themselves. There's a live shot of Botanese tonight. They're waiting for all the players to come out there and have a big post-game party. Magic is supposed to show up there at any time. So, uh, boy, the action is still going on, I guess, from this alumni basketball game. And there's more to tell you about this. This was actually more than a game, I guess you could say. It was an entire event for the Rebels tonight. At halftime, the Laker gals performed. Show you some of their activities and action out there. And that, guy, that probably got a lot of the fans excited about coming out. They need those sunglasses because it is very bright the lights. Then they had the three-point shooting contest. There's sudden Sam Smith uh, hitting a couple of shots. Scott Skiles competed. Reggie Theus competed. Misty Thomas also got into some of the action, and I also threw up a couple of shots, okay? Tied for first, believe it or not. Hit six out of ten. Tied with Greg Gorgian, former UNLV player, and uh, I was disqualified because a sharp-eyed cameraman caught me <laughs> filing the basketball before the competition, so it didn't count. Hit six out of ten, and they won't count the baskets tied for first goodness gracious it was uh, I was using it to take care of my son's carpentry okay I, I just had just happened to have it in my sock there because I was taking care of a cabinet on my way over how's that for an excuse huh <laughs> the star the stars had their three game win streak snap tonight six to two Albuquerque wins at Phoenix to beat Tucson again tonight so that means the stars are two games back behind Phoenix with only four games left in the regular season major league scoreboard for you quickly here the Dodgers lost tonight to Montreal the final there was two to one in 12 innings of play also, uh, let's see, New York shut out San Francisco for zip Philadelphia over San Diego, 8-1. to one. Chicago beat Cincinnati. In fact, all the Eastern teams beat the Western teams tonight in the National League. Pittsburgh was a winner over Houston, and St. Louis beat Atlanta. The Angels and Orioles in the American League action. Let's show you this. Brian Downing in the left field makes a great effort to get this ball, but... No, it doesn't get there. A couple of runs coming to score for the Orioles as they go on to win it 6-5 to five over the California the Angels tonight as they keep devil. slipping back in the American League. Uh, they didn't slip back much because Milwaukee beat Minnesota tonight. Also Kansas City over Chicago 9-3. Oakland beat Toronto. Texas beat Detroit. And Boston-Cleveland were rained out. And Seattle 
10 to 4 over New York. Uh, we got time for some exhibition football for you tonight in Seattle. The Lions against the Seahawks debut of Brian Bosworth. The Boz going at it for Seattle, number 44. He's not going to wear that jersey for long because it's not a linebacker number, but he wore it in the exhibition. Look, is he fired up there or what? Seattle went on to beat Detroit tonight, 30 to 10, the final score. What a fun night at the Thomas and Mac. It was indeed for... You were for, scuffing a basketball. I thought it would help. I wasn't sure. <laughs> and apparently that made the difference. And you didn't even try to hide it in the palm of your hand. I didn't think anybody would see it until our cameraman brought the video back and noticed it was in there. But, I, I, you know, they're doing it in the major leagues. Isn't that what makes Shocking. you better when you do that stuff? We just heard they just called your legs illegal, so it, it would have been that way anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ron.